guys, welcome back to the channel. In Tuesday's video, I let you know that I was going to be showing you more of the dollhouse that I used in the compound words video. The dollhouse belonged to my mom and her sister when they were growing up in the 1950s and 1960s. Then, when my sister and I were little, the dollhouse belonged to my sister. It's at my house now because I'm the only one who really has room for a dollhouse, but I don't mind. I think that it's very special and I'm excited to show you all the different things inside. This is the front of the dollhouse and I think the coolest thing about this dollhouse, if you watch the compound words video you already know, is that it lights up. If you flip this switch on the side, lights come on in each room and there's a few objects that I'll point out that also light up. My grandpa was the kind of person who could just make anything, he could build anything, he could fix anything and he is the one who wired the dollhouse for electricity. So this is the boys' bedroom and they have the aquarium that lights up. I think that's probably one of my favorite things in the dollhouse. They've got some cool toys as well. They have Batman's utility belt. They have a puzzle, some dinosaurs, records, a record player, some books and a little dinosaur skeleton. This is, of course, the bathroom, and the furniture in here is all original to the 1950s. It was made by a Japanese toy company, and it was marketed under the name Petite Princess. And so all the furniture just has that style that was very popular in the 1950s, and that aqua color that was so trendy back then. This clock was mine when I was little and it needs a new battery. It really does tell time, but I gotta put a new battery in there. It's definitely run down since the last time I put a fresh battery in it. This is the girls' bedroom and the beds are again that petite princess furniture. The rug was actually made by my great-grandmother, so my mom's grandma. We've got Glinda, so of course the book that matches Glinda is The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. We've also got Tinkerbell. And so the book that goes with Tinkerbell is Peter Pan and Wendy. They have a kitty cat and they've got a record player just like the boys do. Um, I think the coolest toy is the dollhouse. Let me go ahead and pull it out to show you. So this is the dollhouse and what I think is neat is that if you open it up, they could kind of play inside of it. I also think that this is neat because it looks exactly like my dollhouse that I had growing up. This one that I'm showing you today, this was my sister's, but mine looked a lot like this where it opened up from the front. Last thing I wanted to show you in this room was there were two um, pictures on the wall. Really old school. We had Hansel and Gretel and Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. This is the dining room. There's that really neat light fixture in the center of the ceiling. And something kind of cool about this room is that there is a hidden compartment behind the stairs. Let me show you. When we were little, my sister used to hide her secret stuff behind the staircase in this dollhouse and she thought I didn't know, but I knew. The only other thing I was going to point out in this room, uh, there is a little bunny back there and I've already pulled out the books that she had next to her. I wanted to show them to you up close. So this is a set of books and you might already be able to tell by the illustration that these are all of the Little Bear books. And all of them are in there. We've got Little Bear, Little Bear's Friend, Little Bear's Visit, Father Bear Comes Home, and the title on the last one has really faded, but it is A Kiss for Little Bear. There's one of the books that I pulled out, Little Bear. 
The living room has a lamp with little monkeys on the lamp shade and another of the rugs made by my great grandmother. They've got a TV and a piano, a little painting on their wall. And that furniture is again that 1950s petite princess. Um, and that style was just so popular back then. Um, the shape, the colors, you see they have two orange chairs. So very specific to that era. The last room is the kitchen and they've got their phone and a little cupboard with some pretend food in it. The fireplace in the back used to light up. It's the one thing that doesn't light up anymore. It's been 70 years, so it finally quit working. They've got their stove, their fridge, their sink. Looks like they're cooking some scrambled eggs. And I believe my sister added the puppy chow and the cat chow when this was her dollhouse. I hope that you enjoyed taking a closer look at the dollhouse. The dollhouse is from the 1950s, but I was wrong when I said the petite princess furniture was from the 1950s too. I took a closer look at the furniture boxes, which my mom and my aunt saved, and I'm going to insert a picture onto the screen. The picture shows that this furniture is actually from the 1960s, not the 1950s. So I did want to make that correction in case anybody cared. Anyway, that's all that I have for you today, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now!